Craig Shoemaker, TriStateFootball.com and QueenCityHigh.com here with Rod Huber, the head coach of the Mount St. Joseph Lions, Division Three Mount St. Joseph Lions. And Coach, you got some big things coming up. You're heading to Africa for some <laughs> NFL training and uh, some camps there. Tell us a little bit about your journeys coming up. Well, wow. it, it's an exciting time. I'd be lying if I didn't tell you I was a little anxious. Um, I'm not a guy that likes to fly, but this is about an 18-hour flight, so that, that's that's the nerve part of it, I guess, getting the best of me. But I'm excited. I, I've been doing uh, NFL camps now for the past six years with pro camps worldwide, um, and they introduced me last year to Amobi Okoye uh, in Detroit. We met when we were doing a camp for Ndamukong Sioux, and Amobi Okoye from the Chicago Bears was there, uh, and, and we just had a conversation about uh, the impact that the camps have on the little kids in the inner city uh, throughout the NFL when I do these NFL camps. Um, and he asked me, hey, Coach Uber, would you help me with my camp next spring? And I said, of course I will. So I give him Obi Okoye in my card, and I didn't realize that the camp that he was asking me to help him with was in Africa. I assumed it was in Chicago with the Chicago Bears. Um, so I got a call two, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, from Amobi's uh, agent and said, Coach, Amobi asked me to reach out to you and see if you would go to uh, Africa with us to Nigeria to teach American football to uh, where he grew up at. So <laughs> needless to say, I, you know, I, I, I jumped at the opportunity. Um, and since then, a lot of things have happened. I had to go get some shots the other day. I got to get a couple more shots to get. Uh, my uh, Our team doctor, Dr. Uh, Scherzinger, just ordered me some malaria pills. So I start taking malaria pills next Wednesday, and then next Friday I hop on a plane at JFK and I fly for 18 hours to Nigeria. That <laughs> sounds like a winner. But, you know, you go over there and you look at some of these young kids, not only the impact you can make, but you could also probably – maybe get a potential recruit out of there, couldn't well, you? <laughs> hey, we're always recruiting, Shoe. That's one thing you learn in Division Three. You recruit 365 days a year every day. Um, hey, but, but, but like you said, here's, here's what I thought was very special about this, and I never realized it until they told me. It's the only continent in the world that doesn't have American football. So I kind of feel like, uh, you know, Lewis and Clark, Christopher Columbus, if you will, uh, introducing a, the, the, the wonderful game of football, the great, what I believe is obviously the, the greatest game in the world, to, to young people who have never even experienced it. They don't carry it on TV. Uh, there's no leagues. There's nowhere for these kids to get exposed to football. So for, uh, for myself, and I believe Connor Barwin, a, a former Bearcats going, uh, Moby Okoye is going with two other NFL uh, players, um, for us to be able to go over there and teach junior high kids, the, uh, the, the, the great game of American football, and we're going to do some other things involved. There's some health, health and nutrition seminars going on that we're taking some uh, uh, medical people with us, if you will. We're taking a lot of PVC piping to help build irrigation systems in the villages of, of, uh, in, outside of Nigeria to, uh, to, you know, to replenish them with fresh water. So it's more than just a football thing, and, and, I, and I like that. And I'm blessed at the, Mount, the, you know, the College of Mount St. Joseph, Dr. Eretz, and Coach Atkinson, my, uh, my uh, uh, athletic director, um, they've both embraced this trip and said, hey, coach, you know, go enjoy the experience. Bring back a lot of pictures and a lot of memories. Um, but everybody's bought into this. And, hey, it's more than just football. It's an opportunity for the Mount uh, Pro Camps Worldwide and the Amobi Koye Foundation to give a little back to, the, to, to where he grew up at. That's very good. You've been a trailblazer all your, uh -huh. all your life, it seems like. You know, Thank this you. trip, obviously – being here at the start of this program from uh, day one yeah. in 1990 yeah. as an assistant, now as head coach. Yeah. Uh, for you, what is the most pleasurable thing that you've seen over the 22-plus years at the school here? Well, without a doubt, it's watching these kids grow up. Um, it's watching the guys like, you know, I get an email the other day from Aaron Hancock at Wyoming High School. Coach Uber, I got the job. I'm the new head coach at Wyoming High School. Um, you know, I got a kid out at Western Brown High School, Evan Dreyer. I got Gerald Warmack in Cincinnati Public Schools at Schroeder. Um, it's, it's watching these guys go on and become the people that they become, it, it, whether it's in the medical fields, the business world, or the athletics world. Um, that's the most rewarding thing. However, with that said, if you would kind of pan around this locker room and show, I mean, I've got a multi million dollar facility here uh, and when I started here 24 years ago we didn't have a locker room. We didn't have a weight room. We didn't ha have a training room. The coaches dressed in a boiler room. Um, so to see the facilities go from nothing to without a doubt one of the finest NCAA facilities in Division uh, Three, you, you know I mean uh, that, that that's something I'm very 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 proud of. Well, you know, you talk about kids. They come to Division Three. They don't get scholarships. Right. But yet you seem to get some of the best of the best from Cincinnati. <laughs> Thank you. When you have a young man come here, 
uh, what are the struggles? What struggles do they face uh, from day one, from the time you sign them until uh, the time they sort of make their mark on Mount St. Joe's yeah. football? Well, you know, I, we try to bring 50 to 60 new guys a year, uh, Shoe, and to get 50 or 60 new guys, I believe I'm over 300 visits right now. Over 300 young men since last fall have came on this campus and checked us out. Um, but, but just like any university, college, at any level, there's, you got to pay your dues. I mean, there's going to be 120 guys here in August 11th for training camp, and they all want to start. And that's when I tell the freshmen, hey, be careful, and I want you to have high goals and high expectations, but you must be careful of setting yourself up for failure. They're saying, if, you know, I mean, I'm going to Mount St. Joe and I'm going to start. Because not many freshmen come in and start. Now, every year I get surprised, and a couple freshmen jump off the, you know, jump off the, uh, off the radar screen, and, and, they, and they show up as varsity players in our, uh, in our program. But, however, we have a JV team. And we like to think that, hey, you're going to start just like you did in high school as a freshman. You're going to play some JV ball, some freshman ball. You're going to work your way and show us that you're committed to the, to the program. You're committed to the academics. You're here for the long haul. You're here for four years. And, and, thing, and you will be rewarded as you go through our program, obviously. Uh, but but it, it's not easy. I think the, the freshmen, uh, number one, they struggle a lot with, the, with the, the size and speed of the game. Uh, number two, academically, this is a tough little school year. The Mount, we take a we take a tremendous pride in our academic programs, and 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 there's a learning curve. I don't care what your grades were in high school, you're going to have to come here and work harder than you ever dreamed of working in high school. And then physically, we have a year-round uh, uh, strength and conditioning program. I'm, I believe I'm the only school in the conference that has a full-time strength coordinator, uh, Coach Rogers. We just hired him out of the University of Kentucky. Um, but these young men must be committed to the to the year-round concept of what we're doing. No kid. We have very little kids that play two sports. You know, this is college football. We expect them to be in the weight room in the winter. We expect them to be out on the field in the spring. We have a full-time summer program that, they're, that, they're, that they must adhere to. And then they show up August 11th, and they better be right, ready to rock and roll because there will be 120 kids on that field ready to get them. Well, let's talk a little bit about your 2012 squad before Thank I you. let you go. Some local kids. Yep. Uh, tell us about what you got coming back. I know you got a fantastic running back out of Louisville. Yeah. But uh, yeah. But you have some local kids that really have made an impact on oh, this yeah. program. You know, in the NCAA, uh, unfortunately, I'm not allowed to comment on on kids who who, who are who are committing and, and that right now. But I feel real good about the, the the you know we had a nice football team last year. We were a couple points short of, of maybe may, being a playoff run type of team. Um. So with with that said, we, we do got James Clay coming back at. at at, uh, at running back, uh, he was all conference last year. Was nominated for the Player of the Year. Um, I got a tremendous tight end out of out of Oak Hills High School, Rob Blundred. Um, we've got a, a Connor Blevins out of Lakota East uh, at, at a linebacker spot, a Division One transfer from Miami, Ohio. Ohio. We got several guys back on the D line that that have played here for three years. Um, so we really feel good. And I've been blessed, Shu. In the last uh, month, I've hired two new coaches. I hired Greg Huster, the director of recruiting from the University of Cincinnati. Who, who landed one of the best classes in the history of Cincinnati, and I hired Coach Steve Barrows out of, uh, he, he's been most recently at, um, in, in Texas at Mary Harden Simmons uh, University. Um, and he's an Ohio guy as well. His wife grew up in Fairfield. He grew up in Columbus and wanted to get back into Ohio. So I'm blessed to hire these two new coaches. And right now, we're, you know, we are rolling in recruiting. Um, I bet we signed 15, 20 kids. Our goal is to bring in 50 to 60 new kids. And, uh, and I, in fact, last night I got a commitment from a young man, a verbal commitment on the phone out of Louisville, Kentucky. He's 6'4", 270 pounds. So, you know, we're, we're getting it done. You just keep got it. Recruiting is a nonstop uh, adventure. You just you call them at home. You call them at their girlfriends. You call them at grandmas and, and grandpas. You go watch them play basketball. You go watch them wrestle. Whatever it takes to get that kid to make to give you a commitment. That's what you got to do at this level to get it done. There you go. The head coach of the <laughs> College of Mount St. Joseph Lions, the ever enthusiastic Rod Hubert. <laughs> Thanks, you.